Hi, Peter Kennedy here from PKYS. Today I'm talking about the Victron Smart Battery Protect. The Battery Protect is a solid state relay. It's just a really a fancy on off switch controlled by a microprocessor. And how it behaves depends on how you program it. Programming is done by Victron Connect app using your phone uh, over Bluetooth. There's three programming settings A, B, and C. And in programs A and B, the Battery Protect acts as a voltage sensitive relay. So it shuts off when the voltage gets below a certain level. This is used uh, to protect your batteries so that they don't get run flat. And you can also use it to uh, shed non-essential loads so that the essential loads get to last right to the end. The programs A and B are just variations of a theme. Um, and they determine how the alarm operates. So you can set it up to give an alarm um, in advance of the shutdown. Now we sell a lot of battery protects at PKYS, but that's not mostly what we're selling them for. They're mostly being used in lithium systems. And for those, we're using program C, uh, the lithium setting, and we're not interested in any, in any alarms because most of the lithium systems have their own alarms. So in program C, the battery protect uh, operates on external control. So it turns off when it's told to. And it's told by the BMS, the battery management system. So to set that up, um, you have to make a small wiring change. There's a little green plug uh, that has a jumper in it. And that jumper is the on-off switch, essentially, for the device. And when you take the jumper out, it will be off. So then you replace that with a wire uh, from the BMS to the H terminal. And the, B and the BMS provides a, a positive signal when the battery protect is on. So that way the BMS can turn off the device at will uh, by shutting off the signal to that wire. So there's a few wiring things to note for all installations. Um, there is a negative connection required for the battery protect to operate. And that's because it's got its own electronics in it and that completes the circuit for the electronics. If you read the instructions carefully, you'll see they want a small uh, fuse on that negative wire just to protect it in the event of an internal fault. Um, the other thing to notice is that the battery protect is a one-way device. It's got an in and an out. And so for programs A and B, uh, where it's acting as a, a voltage-sensitive switch, uh, it's pretty obvious the in is the battery and the out is the load. But when we're using it with uh, lithium systems, um, it could be either way because this could be used uh, to turn off loads when the battery got low, in which case the in would be the battery and the out would be the load. But it could be used the other way around. If you had a, a battery charger or something like that, um, the battery, um, the BMS could turn off the battery protect to stop charging. And so in that case, the in would be the charger and the out would be the battery. This is just one of a series of videos uh, from PKYS about all the different components that go into making our lithium system. So be sure and look at the links below to see the other videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, all these videos also have a corresponding blog, point, a blog post on the website uh, where there's some additional information um, that you might like to read and we'll put the link there below too.